Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And her husband. Not Seth Rogen. And we are here to taste test the latest Fuego box. How much is this a month? It's 30 because we get the three sauces a month. There's a one sauce a month box that's 10 or a one sauce every quarter. Or three sauces every quarter that's 30 but you it's quarter. only pay once. I will leave a link to... Stop moving! It's fine. <laughs> I moved his game slightly. But I will leave a link to Fuego Box down below if you are interested. Ooh, that is weird shaped. Anyways, we get a card like always. And let's see, which one is this? Sweet Savina Sunrise. Here we go. Oh, that is like day glow orange. Let's see. Chris of CC Foods got his inspiration for S3, Sweet Savina Sunrise. While on medical mission trips to Tanzania, I want to say ta Tasmania for a second. Which is a real place. Which is a real place, but not Tanzania. No. Where he fell in love with the local Indian fare. After years of making hot sauce in his kitchen, Chris finally shared his best recipe, S3, with the public. Currently made, made one small batch at a time in Charleston, South Carolina, S3 only includes fresh peppers, mangoes, onions, and garlic. This sauce provides a unique flavor that leaves just enough heat behind for a p pleasant post-meal buzz. Try it on stir-fry, gumbo, jambalaya, fish tacos, eggs, and in Bloody Marys. How's it See, smell? It smells like bell peppers. Awesome. Shake it a little bit, it looks like it's... Settled? Yeah. Well, if it's an artisan or it's a homemade one, basically, it probably doesn't have any stabilizers in it. Well, yeah. They're even, like... Mash produce hot sauce to settle after a while. Let me see if it smells like bell peppers. I eat mine on a cracker. He literally just spoons his in his mouth. It still smells like a lot of bell pepper. Like, it smells like bell pepper, not hot sauce. Yeah. Spicier than I expected it to be. Yep. Really sweet though. Really sweet. Oh, it is, it is a ghost chili hot sauce. I hate you. I, oh my god, that burns. I didn't realize that. I mean, it has sweet in the name, so I assumed it was, you know, sweet. I was clearly wrong. Ow! It smells like bell peppers, but it's definitely got the, the, the kick. Of course, red bell pepper is the second ingredient, so that's probably why. Okay. Um, it's got mango I don't have milk it. this time, I just have water. <laughs> got mango in it uh, it's a little sour it's got a lot of heat and you taste some bell pepper but all in all there's not a ton of flavor to it mm. mostly just a, a spice bomb which isn't altogether a bad thing so says you my, my eyes are watering okay so I am a glutton for punishment let's keep going Marshall's hot sauce Serrano ginger lemongrass. This was the weird shaped one I was talking about. It's not in a regular shaped bottle. Marshall's hot sauce brings f delicious, fresh, and local small batch products to those who will love them. This sauce is made in Portland, Oregon with ingredients sourced from local farms. It uses citrus to balance the heat of the Serrano. It bridges the aromatic quality of the lemongrass and ginger with tart local tomatillos from De Noble Farms. The chili has a delayed fuse due to its added sweetness. Each batch is hand stamped with a real labor of love. Try it on rice and vegetables. Fill the hole in an avocado half. Be adventurous. Well, that is one of the more unique, more unique uh, uses I've ever heard them give you. To so fill half of an avocado. I hate avocado. Well, that's because there's something deeply wrong with you. Whatever. It smells like a hot sauce. <laughs> it smells like Serrano chilies, which it should. It's really... It's almost got like a... tastes like sweet pickles. Ew. It's really not a good flavor at all. Um, we should burn that. Like... It, it tastes like I hate sweet pickles. It's oh got, my god, that is nasty! It's almost got a sweet pickle to it, and then but you like took a sweet pickle and added way too much lime juice to it, 
And that is not pleasant at all, and I'm not going to eat that. Like, I even like the cucumber one, but that is nasty. That's, that's pretty bad. Okay, we would so not be keeping that. We will be giving it next door and hope somebody is Nobody's tricked into eating eat it. this next door. I said tricked. Ugh. That's gross. That is really gross. Really bitter. Let's see. Now we have ghost scream hot sauce. <laughs> which I will probably scream during. Based out of the San Clemente, California, ghost scream hot sauce is made in small batches using California grown produce. Chef Matt Sissons, who might be the dude on the bottle, goal with the hot sauce was to take one of the world's hottest peppers, the ghost pepper, <laughs> and make a hot sauce for all to enjoy. Extremely bold and tasty. This sauce is amazing with anything you want to add flavor, heat, and spice to. It is gluten-free and puts a lower emphasis on sodium. Enjoy with eyes wide open. Try it on sushi, steak, seafood, eggs, tacos, pizza, soups, chili, and in Bloody Marys. All right, you really don't have to say that your hot sauce is I was about to say, free. aren't all hot sauces gluten-free unless they add something specific to it, like unless rice? they specifically add some... Well, no, rice has no gluten. They would literally have to add wheat to it. I don't know. It smells like it's going to be horrible. It also has, like, a barbecue scent to it. It does have, like... Yeah, there's definitely a barbecue smell. It's good and sour, as you'd expect. It almost has a barbecue flavor to it. Shit! Like there's a smokiness that comes with the barbecue. Ow! It's not even as hot as the first one. F you. It's not. It's really good. This would go great. Mix it with some brown sugar and slather it on some ribs. If you do that, please have a gallon of milk nearby. I'm just saying. Because it's got that, that almost barbecue smell to it. I will say, it actually is kind of tasty, but my mouth is on fire. Well, that's nothing new, really. And that's Shut my up. water. Okay, apparently that's your water now. Yep. Ow. Well, now that my palate is completely destroyed, uh, we shall probably go. Unless you have something else to say. No, no. Um, I, I would recommend it. Both the, uh, the first and last sauce, but this Serrano the ginger lemongrass Marshall's hot sauce. I would. Uh, this is nasty. Suggest if you receive a bottle of it, you find whoever gave it to you and throw it at them. It's a cute bottle. I might rinse it out and use it for something else. Feel free. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we really appreciate it, and hopefully, we'll see you later. Bye.